heavyweight sensation. Can he turn Olympic gold into a golden career? And now, ladies and gentlemen, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the white trunks and weighing in a 16 stone, six pounds of 12 ounces, making his professional debut, having been the two-time ABA champion and the winner of the Olympic gold medal in the heavyweight division. It's time now to unveil the future people's champion. Ladies and gentlemen, we present Anthony Joshua. Emmanuele. Mr. Ian John Lewis, six rounds international heavyweight contest. Oh, I am the referee. Obey my command at all times. You both know the rules. Once the head touches up, and when I shout break, you break clean. Well, Shake this it. is where the journey begins, isn't it? Do we have a Lennox Lewis on our hands? Do we have another Ronnie Harris on our hands? Or do we have something in between? We won't oh, find all Leo from Italy that's cast Seven in the role seven. of Al Malcolm and Mike Middleton. And if you want to know who they are, Al Malcolm was the debutant for Lennox Lewis, 2001. None of those two gentlemen lasted very long inside a round. Malcolm, 19 seconds into round two. So let's see what Joshua can do with this fella. He just rocked him back on a switch downstairs. Oh, and he's got him. Big solid right hand there. A shake didn't get his full power behind that, it was well delivered the shot, it was accurate, mate, he's moving back. The same punch for his mate with the hawk could give us an early night, I believe. Exactly the same. But Joshua chiselled, the body shape's so different, there's another one of those long right hands, and Emmanuel Eleo is feeling the jabs, and Joshua just teeing off with everything at the moment. You can see he's going to enjoy the, the pro game, there's a good professional look about his work. Taking his time as well, not looking to just come out and blitz him. Looking to pick his shots, there's another one of those right hands, and the Italian Joshua with a couple of seven jabs getting through, another one of those right hands, the legs have turned to jelly, and he's ready to go, always another big shot, another couple more, he's still standing, but for how much longer the legs are going to get, Ian John Lewis having a look, well he's brave, but he is just getting blitzed here, he cannot stop these right, he's going to get hurt pretty soon if he's not careful, there's an argument to stop this already, down again, he knows he's one clean punch away from finishing this. Give Leo some credit, he has taken some solid shots, still standing, now an uppercut just jams him up. No, holding and, uh, him some tricks for a rookie. Oh, what is keeping Leo up? He is getting tattooed here, and he has to go, and it's over. That's what the fuss is about. He's destroyed, and he hasn't broken a sweat. And he's looking around. About. Is it that easy? Well, no, it isn't. Not going down the road, but that's the kind of start you want. Sure. Peter. Uh, he'll get himself back together again. He was forced to take some terrific punches you know, because he was giving it a go. And thankfully, he's back on his feet again. And he's fine. So now we can talk to him and of Joshua. Yep, very professional looking. It's only his first outing. But he was cool several times. Yeah, this, this was clinical and ruthless, wasn't it, from Joshua? Yeah, I know which sometimes you have to grow into, but as soon as he's adapted to the pro game, OK, fights are going to get a lot of higher class eventually, but this has been a special night for him, and I'm sure he'll be executed at the job. Terrific punch, and to his credit, Leo took a few punches. He came with a bit of ambition, let's keep in mind, he has an unbeaten record of his own. Uh, Joshua, different snap, class, you can see the, the snap and the jab, walking in with the punches, Pouring the punches now, accurate. Yeah, you've got to like the timing, you've got to like the power, got to like the accuracy, got to like the spine. Yeah, you, you need that. Yep, yeah, and the fact that he was never in any hurry. He knew, yes, if I don't give yeah. full credit, didn't grab hold and spoil, he tried to give it a go himself. So he gave Joshua the chance. Well, there's his family members, they are loving it. Watford's pretty empty. And why not? The golden boy, here he is, Anthony Joshua. Joshua! Enjoy the moment, Anthony Joshua.
15 seconds. Yes, definitely. As, as professional debuts go, that was that was a perfect, perfect fight, a flawless victory, um, and it's easy to get carried away. But he looks like a physical fine specimen there, and he just put on a great, vicious, big day for the big man. We'll be hearing from him in a couple of minutes' time. Yeah, this this was clinical and ruthless, wasn't it, from Joshua? Yeah, and, and which sometimes you have to grow into, but as soon as he's shape. adapted to the pro game, OK, fights are going to get a lot of higher class eventually, but this has been a special night for him, and I'm sure he'll be executed at the job. Terrific punch, and to his credit, Leo took a few punches. He came with a bit of ambition, let's keep in mind, he has an unbeaten record of his own. But, uh, Joshua, different yeah, class, you can see the, the snap and the jab. Walking in with the punches, pouring the punches now, accurate. Yeah, you've got to like the timing, you've got to like the power, you've got to like the accuracy, you've got to like the spine. Yeah, you, you need that. Yep, yeah, and the fact that he was never in any hurry. He knew, if I don't give full credit, didn't grab hold and spoil, he tried to give it a go himself. So he gave Joshua the chance. And why not? The golden boy, here he is, Anthony Joshua. A very special night when he won the Olympic gold medal. How important was it to get your professional career off with a statement like that? Uh, it was just as important as winning the Olympics because everyone's here to support and everyone's proud that we got the victory. Um, and it's just on to the next one. I'll put that one behind us, but I'm, I'm really happy with my performance. You put it right up there as as, as important a night to kickstart it like that. I think um, every time I step into the ring is as important as an Olympic final. I've got to take my career serious. But um, winning the Olympics was priceless experience as well. And this is my pro debut. There's only one pro debut, and we ended it in spectacular fashion. You look relaxed. You look cool. You're getting the jab working early. How did it feel without the head guard and with the little gloves on? The little gloves feel really good. <laughs> I prefer the pro game a bit more to the amateurs, not neglecting the amateurs, but um, it, like, it feels like the real deal when I was getting my hands wrapped. You know, it takes about 30 minutes to get your hands properly wrapped, slip my hands into these tight, small gloves. And uh, it's like two guys just coming out with their, with their heart on their sleeve trading, and I really enjoyed it. And he was unbeaten too in eight, so, you know, not, not a month for your first fight. No, you could see he was game, he could take a shot, you know what I mean? He, he's got a winner's mentality, 8-0, that's what he's in the game to do, is win. And uh, to do what I've done, it's just the start though, do you know what I mean? I don't want to get carried away, it's just the beginning, but we can build on that, and uh, that's the main thing. But you found your timing pretty quickly and got into a nice rhythm. Yeah, people have been asking me, I've been out of the ring for 14 months, but it just shows, like, if you stay in the gym and stay dedicated, I've got good family, I've built a really good team around me that keeps me grounded, and i just got to keep on grinding it out and keep on improving, so... Another 14 months in the ring, we'll see what happens. Your trainer alongside you, Tony Sims, in red-hot form himself at the moment with a really good stable. How pleased were you with the way Anthony dealt with tonight? Yeah, really pleased, like, in the changing room before the fight, you know, considering all the hype and the pressure that he's had around him all week, he was really calm in the changing room, as calm as a, you've ever seen a fighter. And, um, you know, once he got in there, he was nice and relaxed, got behind.